What is up guys? Hope you guys are doing good. Today's video is a little bit different. It really doesn't have anything to do with the challenge or a fitness video really. It is just a Q and A, a question and answer. A... Yeah, I don't know what else to call it, but that is what it is. So I asked on Facebook and Twitter and some of my friends just some questions. I told them to ask me questions. Well, I messed that one up. I told them to ask me some questions. It could be whatever. It could be about fitness. It could be about my life. It could be about food. It could be about anything. All right, so I'm just going to go through as many as I can in like six minutes, five minutes. Just keep it short. Keep it short and sweet. So my first comment, I got to shout her out. My good old Jima, she asked, who's your favorite grandparent? And I think just for this video, I have to say it's her just because she commented. I love all my grandparents, but just because she commented that Josie Jones, aka Grandma Jones, you win this one. Next question. What is your favorite food? Um, see, that's a hard one because like, are you talking any food or like, like a style of food? But I'm gonna go with style of food, and I'd say mine is Italian, because they got like all the goodies, you know? They got spaghetti, they got pizza, they got ravioli, they got it all. So I'm gonna have to go with Italian. What is your, what is, what's the best workout to thin out the stomach area? Well, I'm gonna just tackle that myth right there. There is no specific workout that you can do to just burn belly fat. It's not a thing. I know a lot of people say you can just do 100 crunches and go burn right there. No, it's all about your body and how, where the places you store fat the most. So, like me, I don't store a lot of fat in my stomach. It's mostly in my back and like my legs. So that's what gains the most fat. But it's really just diet and doing a lot of workouts that are just more high intensity. I mean, you can't just do workouts to burn a certain area, but you gotta start, I would say start with doing cardio and doing like less less rest time in workouts, higher reps, um, anything like that, honestly. All right, next question. What is your ultimate career goal? What could you do as a career and never get bored of it? Honestly, like realistically, I think it would either be there's like three different options here, honestly, and I'm gonna jump through them quick because we got a lot of questions. But, heck, like I have a lot of questions when like Christian Guzman gets like 20,000 comments, I got like 22, but hey, we'll take it, it's a starting point. But anyways, so what would I say? I feel like my first one would be, um, honestly, running a, a special needs, um, like a workout camp and having a gym that, you know, is more catered to special needs and getting them into fitness and getting them into being able to work at my gym and kind of stuff like that. I just feel like that'd be really awesome. I love working with special needs and I love fitness. So I feel like if those combine together, I really feel like it'd be awesome. And I know that a lot of, um, you know, specifically Down syndrome people really love doing something active and feel like they have a purpose somewhere. And I feel like that would just be awesome in the gym and just give them like a goal. Like, Hey, even if it's just like squat, like a hundred pounds, like they're going to put their mind to it and they're going to do it. So I would love to do that. Another one would be, I mean, honestly, just, I really want to start this clothing brand. It's coming out really soon. We are working on the small details right now, like working about what the fabrics we're going to do and stuff like that. But I feel like that would just be an awesome job too and be able to sell those through fitness and go to expos and just do what I love to do through designing clothes and kind of still do YouTube. And honestly, yeah, that, that'd be it. I, I mean, honestly, anything with making a difference would be awesome, but those would be my two main ones probably. Um, what's your favorite workout to do and the funnest? I would say my favorite, I don't know, my favorite body part to train would definitely be chest. Um, how do you use fitness as a witness? I kind of already answered that one. Um, what kind of music are you into and how awesome is August Burns Red? August Burns Red is dope, but I'd have to say mine is either like, um, a rap or like a country or something like that. Honestly, really at all, honestly. Are you free Saturday night, Gunner? Yes. Um, all right, so we'll get to some of the other ones. Um, <laughs> Sam, would you rather raindrop or drop top? I would much rather drop top. Best exercises for a V-shaped back? Honestly, anything for the lats, dude. Um, Austin, for sure, anything with the lats. Um, I would say lat pull downs, pull ups, working on the straight arm, um, pull downs, 
gosh, I mean, it's anything with the lats, and it's also kind of about how your body is made, because some people have a very high attached um, lat, so it's more like up here, some people have it super low, so to get the really big, like, V taper, like, that is more of a genetic thing, but you can still work your lats just like crazy, and that's something that I'm really trying to do this this season. Um, what's your favorite memory from your childhood? My mom asked this one. I am sure it involves your mom, and it better have... It better not have anything to do with the death corner. I'll explain that story real quick, even though we're almost at six minutes, but I'm gonna just keep going. Hopefully you guys are still watching. Um, mom, so the death corner was something that, it is it is what is it says, it's the death corner. And it was a place where there was a door here that would open up like, like this, okay, we'll say like this. And there was a door here that would open up like this. So they would open up like this. And if you got caught, Right here, when mom was mad, there was no escaping. And what I mean, like, I'm not saying my mom was abusive by any means. If any policemen are watching this, she's the best mom ever. But what she would do is she would get, she would get angry, and she'd start backing you in that corner, and you're, and once you get in that corner, you're dead, because she'd be like, you'd be like, ah, mom, oh god, oh, you try to escape, boom, you can't. She'd open the door. Where are you going, son? Where are you going? So yeah, that was the death corner. It was only a couple, it was only when I did stupid stuff. Anyways, what drives your passion? Why do what you do? Um, honestly, for me, it's just because of, I don't know, just seeing like, just the little things, like someone commenting on a photo, like, hey man, um, love seeing these videos. It really helped me want to work out, or people asking for like workout plans and anything like that. By the way, I do make workout plans and diet plans if you need them, okay? But anyways, that was a shameless plug. But yeah, honestly, stuff like that and just seeing that like, like especially in the Christian world too, is just seeing like my old friends or just like people that I used to know ask me like, hey Sam, what did you do to get back on the right track? And just see stuff like that. And that's really what drives my passion is people like you guys and what you guys say. So honestly, like any comment on a video or even like a post or anything, but it honestly makes my day and it keeps me going. I'm not saying that's why I need, like that's why I do the videos is to get like myself all built up. No, not at all. I do it because I love it, but it is, you know, what drives my passion is you guys. But last question, why are you so handsome? I don't know. Oh, see, that was just weird. That was just weird, but oh well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. I know it's a little bit different, but like if you liked it, hit the thumbs up. Actually, I feel like that's annoying asking people to like the video. Anyways, do what you want. You can dislike, like, whatever. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment any other videos you want me to do. Hope you guys have an awesome week. See you next time.